Hey guys, welcome back to another action figure review. Today we're checking out yet another Fortnite action figure, Metal Mouth by Hasbro Toys. Here on the front of the box we have a small plastic window for the figure and the new Hasbro boxes that use little to no plastic. On the back of the box we have a 3D render of the figure with its accessories and a bunch of different languages at the bottom. Since the boxes are smaller at the top, it's easiest to remove the figure from the bottom of the package. The cardboard is tightly packed in layers. The accessories are wrapped in wax paper, loose inside the box. And finally, the figure is tied down to the back of the box using small plastic ties, leaving you to destroy the box to get them out. Metal Mouth was released in Season 2 Chapter 1 of Fortnite and is a member of Team Shadow controlled by Midas. He has no real specific story in the Fortnite game, just a random soldier for the Shadow organization. One small note on this figure is that he is using the older version of the Shadow logo instead of the newly updated logo currently used. Metal Mouth in-game comes with two variants, an Arctic version with blue glowing eyes and the jungle version with yellow glowing eyes. Metal Mouth also has a partner named Zadie, the female version of this skin. Another interesting note is that Metal Mouth doesn't have a back bling inside the game, so Hasbro has instead equipped them with the rogue agent back bling, the Catalyst Backpack. Let's check out the details. The dark steel colored helmet has a lot of details going on with the white double chevron insignia on the forehead and the large scratch over the small pink glowing eye sockets. We have sharp spiked scratches for the mouth. A lot of small holes and bumps dot all around the helmet and underneath we have a thick black cloth covering the neck. On the side we can see the dark steel front part of the mask strapped into the matte black finish of the back of the helmet. We have large straps for details here in an otherwise smooth helmet. A large blue steel chest armor covers the top of the chest resting on top of the black tactical vest, detailed with pockets, straps, and ammo. Underneath we have a white, gray, and blue camouflage pattern in large splotches of colors. On the back we have a large blue steel piece of armor covering up the top half of the back and the back of the neck. Underneath the vest continues where it's sectioned off into large hexagon shaped armor plates with an ammo belt at the lower back. At the very center we have a small black socket that we will be covering up later in the review with an accessory, but even without it the hole is hidden very well. On the shoulder we have a small yellow and blue patch with the original shadow logo, with the lightning bolts and double chevron underneath it. The cloth underneath is the same blue and white grey camo, with the sculpt here in a thick cloth fiber texture. A few wrinkles on the arms are sculpted at the wrist, where we can see a different texture for the cuffs. Brown padded fingerless gloves are worn on the hands with both hands in a trigger finger pose. On the belt we have a small silver buckle holding up the many straps attached to the waist. Straps, a metal latch, and small pockets can be seen detailing the rubbery thigh gear. A large leather holster hangs on the side of the belt holding a small pistol with a pocket near the waist and another double chevron logo on it. And on the back we have just as much straps on the front with more black rubber belts wrapping around the thighs. On the thighs we have more of that blue, white, and gray colored camouflage with a small cargo pocket just above the knee. Similar to the jacket we have the thick cloth fiber texture sculpted here. Armored knee pads protect the legs as well as large metal plates covering the shins of both legs. Underneath the pants are sculpted in a wrinkled effect, being tucked into the armor and boots. And we wrap up the details with the boots. A cracked leather effect can be seen texturing the black boots with details like very thick soles, small metal plates, and straps for the leg armor. Let's see the articulation. We have a ball joint at the head with a decent range of motion. Shoulders that fully open and rotate. Rotating biceps. Double jointed elbows with a decent range of tightness, more than enough to get into an aiming pose. Wrists that rotate and bend up and down. An ab crunch at the chest, but unfortunately the vest will block most of the range. Rotation at the waist. The belts that are strapped onto the thighs will hinder most of the articulation here. The legs can't open, but the holster get in the way of maximum range. We have the same problem with forward and backwards range. The gun holster actually opens and closes. We have rotation at the thigh. Double jointed knees that bend back with decent tightness. Rotation at the leg instead of the ankle. 
and ankles that bend up and down and twist. At the 6 inch Hasbro scale, Metal Mouth stands just above 6 inches. And with the variety of size this Hasbro Fortnite wave has, we can see that he is still much shorter than Meowsel's. We have Peely's head reaching that same 6 inch height. And onto some other Hasbro figures, we can see how the 6 inch scale works properly with other franchises, scaling perfectly with Star Wars and Marvel. Of course, with McFarlane's 7 inch scale, Metal Muff appears very short compared to these figures. Here we have the Catalyst back bling, mostly black with some grey paint, with the back having a large peg on it. The backpack easily pegs into the socket on the back and is a pretty light weight and it won't make the figure top heavy at all. We have a green and black heavy sniper rifle. Already equipped on the figure's holster is a small grey pistol that can fit back into the holster. And we get two blue steel colored maces, each with its own row of spikes and the double chevron symbols on them. From bananas, large muscular cats and now to military style action figures, the Hasbro Fortnite collection really has a nice range of different figures to choose from. Metal Mouth looks like he can be straight out of any other action figure series, acting as the perfect commando or generic bad guy in anyone's army. The detail and paint on this figure are really well done, with some small details painted accurately while using some nice metallic effects on a few pieces of armor. A very nice faceless soldier design, Metal Mouth hits all the right spots of a soldier action figure. With his dual maces and heavy sniper rifle, the body's articulation is enough to get him into most of the firing poses you'll want to see him in. It's just a shame that the legs are hindered by the belts. The added pistol in the holster was a nice touch as well, as normally the skin can be seen with one in-game, but it's not actually usable, so the added small bonus was a nice touch by Hasbro. It's interesting that Hasbro decided to give yet another figure a different back bling. While Metal Moth doesn't actually come with his own in the actual game, a different weapon or another accessory would have been more welcome in my opinion. While I don't expect Hasbro to release every Fortnite skin as a figure, I can assume we aren't getting the Rogue Agent character now that we already have his backpack on a different character. Overall, Metal Mouth is an extremely solid pickup for those looking to bolster up their military army. Great articulation lets you hit poses, great weapon accessories, and the sculpt and likeness of the figure is extremely accurate to the in-game model. Fortnite the game might not be for everyone, but I can definitely see this figure paired up with some G.I. Joe, Marvel, or DC characters as a generic foot soldier. Normally, I'm not the type to buy military styled figures, but Hasbro Fortnite has been on sale recently at a lot of places, and for $7.99 this figure was an absolute steal. Seriously guys, get out there and check out the Fortnite figures, especially with designs like Metal Mouth that can fit into anyone's collection. Alright guys, that's it for this review. Leave a comment letting me know how you like this figure, subscribe, or share this video with your friends to help out the channel.